Hey everyone, Ramdi here, and I'm gonna give you a crash course on how to make a YouTube video in six steps. It's gonna be fast, baby. Let's get into it. Step one, research and choose your topic and target audience. And this is the fun part, deciding what video content you wanna create. A great way to decide this is to look at three things. Passion, what do you have a natural knack or excitement for? Skill, what skills do you have that most other people don't? And demand, are there people that are actually interested in this topic? And the topic you choose informs your target audience. For example, if you're making videos on advanced computer Computer programming, your target audience is probably going to be experienced programmers. So keep in mind things like age range, content preferences, and just overall interests of this particular audience. Step two, planning your video. And this is everything that takes place right after finding your idea till right before filming it. And this is going to look different for every single creator because we all make different videos and we all work differently. But it's an essential part of creating a video because you never want to go into filming with no plan. Trust me, I've tried. So keeping in mind the content that you wanna make, what does planning look like for you? Does it involve research, scripting, outlining, storyboarding? Do you need a shot list, a shooting schedule? Make sure to have all those things unlocked before you move on because it's the foundation of a good video. Step three, choose the right recording and editing tools. And this step is really easy to overthink and underthink. Because a lot of people starting out think they need some cinema camera, a million dollar mic, and an industry standard editing software to start making videos. While on the other end of the spectrum, a lot of people completely neglect having equipment for making videos, which can, not always, but can lead to poor quality. The truth is you should want to be somewhere in the middle. Sure, you don't need a super expensive camera, but it might be worth looking into getting a cheaper point and shoot camera. Or just use your phone. These days it's a completely valid option, they're pretty much cameras themselves. And sure, you don't need some super expensive shotgun mic, but maybe look into buying a cheap lavalier mic to help with better audio. Or, fun fact, you can just use Descript Studio Sound, because it works pretty good. And there are tons of options for cheap and free video editing softwares. Like, for example... Descript is amazing, not only for beginners, but for experienced editors too. Because you can easily edit your video like a doc, and there's tons of time-saving AI tools that take the tediousness out of editing and make it kind of, sort of fun. Step four filming, baby. Now again, you might think this needs super expensive equipment, but you can get a great shot for little to no money. For example, you don't need an expensive tripod, just prop your camera up on a shelf. And if you want your shot to look real good, you're gonna need some good lighting, which you can easily get using a cheap ring light, or you can just stand next to the window and use the natural light. The sun is free. When it comes to filming, equipment is not as important as you might think. As long as you know what makes a good shot and you're nice and confident in front of the camera, you can make a good video. Step five, editing your video. My favorite part. Because apart from everything else, this is where your personality can really shine through. Because you can make your edit as fast paced or as calm as you want. It can be silly, it can be serious, it can be scary, it can be whatever you want it to be. But there's some overall editing tips that you should generally follow. For example, make sure the pacing isn't slow. Because no one wants to watch a video that feels like it's dragging. And a quick and easy way to avoid this is to make sure there's no dead air. like that. It's just uncomfortable and awkward and it can completely throw off the pacing of your video. So make sure that you cut out all that dead air. And fun fact, you can easily do this in Descript using the shortened word gaps feature. Finally, step six, optimizing your video for SEO. Now this is personally my least favorite part of making a video, but it is very important because it ensures that you get your video in front of as many eyes as possible. And there's so many ways you can do this that it really needs its own video, but here are a couple examples of what you can do. One, make sure to create catchy titles and descriptions that incorporate keywords that your audience will likely be searching for and be interested in. Two, make sure that your thumbnail is great. Make sure it's eye-catching and dynamic, but easy to understand. Ask yourself if I knew nothing about this video or this person, would this thumbnail make me click? If the answer is no, you can do a little better. Three, make sure to add relevant tags to your video because it helps YouTube accurately categorize it on the platform. And four, make sure to incorporate call to actions into your video, like asking people to like, comment, and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And that's pretty much it. After all that, all you have to do is upload your video, take a quick breather and uh, do it all over again. That's the life of being a YouTuber.